family welcome to another beautiful edition of annie author's vlog if today's your first day watching me you are in the right place at the right time please click on the red button that says subscribe turn on the notification bell and you'll be among the very first people that will be notified whenever i post something new if you're a returning fan subscriber well we shall love her thank you so much for coming back i really really love and appreciate you please do not forget to like share and comment on my videos okay so in today's edition i am more than excited to bring this edition yes this is my pre-birthday celebration thoughts flashback and lessons learned that i want to share okay so my birthday is coming up on august 17th i am more than excited i'll be one year older yes so as my family my facebook or my online or youtube or real family celebrate with me on this day i just have to want to share these experiences of life okay so it is great honor and heart full of excitement that i make this vlog today as my birthday is around the corner on august 17th with all that is in me i return all the thanks worship and gratitude to the almighty god it's been him alone okay so and i thank my parents for bringing me into the world for giving me life until i was able to stay or be on my own you know have my personal family as well i am more than grateful about all that okay so i have sat down and had a thorough reflection of my life i can happily say a very huge thank you to you lord for what you have done in my life regardless of all the little glitches and glitches and setbacks and all the little, little things along the way yeah that's part of life regardless i am still very very grateful for the lord has done me well okay for giving me the strength the energy the wisdom to be where i am in my life today i am more than grateful okay so one of the biggest things that i have learned this year is not to force anything anything at all whatsoever not even friendship not even relationship of any kind okay recognitions job love i won't force anything so forcing or pursuing things or persuading things is like going against the wave against the natural order of where my life is going or where god is taking me to so i will do everything in my power to continue doing things that flow naturally and feels and brings me peace and love and happiness why so because some of life experiences has caused me trauma and damages as well as some have brought me joy and happiness so this has taught me to guard my heart and deeply consider things or people that matters most and have to be in my heart and what being in my heart and my life so above everything else guard your heart with all diligence for it determines the course of your life that's what proverb 2 4 23 tells us above all things above everything else guard your heart with all diligence for it determines the course of your life proverb 4 23 this means that your heart is everything the spring of your life is in your heart. Our sources, everything we do flows from the heart. Therefore, be vigilant and let nobody break or damage your heart. Okay? Guard your heart with the undiluted word of God and all that is within you. Stand your ground when you need to. Don't let people be pushing you up and down, front and back like yo-yo. Guard your heart and stand your ground when you need to it's good to be kind it's good to be empathetic and sympathetic but at the same time you gotta learn to guide your heart and don't let anybody anything damage it or traumatize it and this year i have determined i'm gonna guard my heart with all diligence what is diligence mm -hmm. So diligence literally means determination, careful effort, steady effort, persistent work or effort towards the betterment of one's life. 
Biblical application of diligence means putting effort to do one's part while keeping faith and reliance on God. Okay, so it is a trait of character that allows people to do their best for God and humanity with excitement and passion to complete their work with the Lord. So even when you're doing this, you have to be careful. Do not forget to ask the Lord to give you wisdom while you are applying diligence in your faith every day. So in your stay in your in your walk of faith and your walk of life. So do not forget to ask God of wisdom. So according to Proverbs 4 7, it says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all you are getting, get understanding. What is understanding? Insight. Judgment, ability, comprehension, discernment, logical interpretation, meaningful processing of things around you, words and people. You got to know it. You got to understand. But I'm not by any means claiming to be perfect. I'm not perfect at all. I lack so much as a matter of fact. And I'm praying every day to be better, to improve in everything I do, to do better than I did yesterday. That's my utmost prayer. To relate better than I did yesterday, but at the same time, I'm asking God to be to, to grant me the ability to apply diligence in all my dealings, to have wisdom and to have understanding. These are the main three things I'm asking God. As I keep growing older, I'm asking God to help me to do better in these areas and application of these three things. Okay, so in everything, I'm not by any means perfect. I am at a place where the peace of my mind is a priority to me. My peace and happiness are a priority to me. Okay? So this is a place where I have intentionally will not allow negativity and toxicity to exist. Mm -mm. I'm not going to lie people, allow people, negative people and toxic people to exist in my life, in my heart anymore. No. Because what are they going to do to damage it, trample all over it, brutalize it, traumatize it? Why would you allow toxic and negative people to dwell within you or to have impact in your life? In my life today, I have learned not to allow them anymore. No. I'm no longer matching energy with anybody. I'm simply removing myself from any situation, any person, anybody that does not vibrate my soul to trusting on those who genuinely love me and will always be there for me. Come rain, come shine. Okay? These people are my family by modern definition, not by blood. This is by modern definition. So in other words, people that are your family today are no longer the people that are blood related to you only. No, your family can be anywhere around the world. Whoever meets your expectation, your standard, your requirements becomes your family. After all, where I am, how many family members can run to my rescue? It gotta be people I have met along the way. People I have met at job, at school, at church, community service. These are my family today. So why don't I love them with all my heart? I'm going to be focusing on those who genuinely love me and will always be there for me. I am no longer letting unqualified and undeserved people or things to occupy my heart, my life, and my space. Why? Because they do not know or understand the value or purpose of a relationship. A lot of people who feel entitled in your life don't understand the purpose and the value of relationship. For them, they are entitled. That's what is in their brain. I have learned the hard way to guide my heart with all diligence so that somebody will not step in and break it, grind it, trample over it, traumatize it, damage it. Guide your heart with all diligence, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's vlog. Yeah, it's my birthday. Go, Annie. It's my birthday. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh.
Hi guys, thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Author's Vlog. I really, really love and appreciate you. Please do not forget to share, like, and comment on my videos. I'm your girl, Annie Author. I love you so much. Please do not forget to wish me a happy birthday on August 17th. We're going to bring it down, okay? Thank God for a day like this that is coming. I'm going to be a year older and I'm more than grateful for everyone who has been in my life till today, who has supported me in one way or the other, who have been hyping me, cheering me up and doing all sorts of things to make sure that I stand and become a better version of me. That's my aim, to become a better version of me every day of my life. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye guys. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye guys.